today we're talking to St Ormond City Manager Ian Allenson at a blustery and somewhat damp Clarence Park where the Saints have picked up another National League South point with a second draw this season with Oxford City. Six goals last time, no goals this time. Um, maybe a bit of a surprise actually Ian because in those conditions you can get errors and they can lead to goals but blank sheet and a point, happy? I think we got to in the end considering, um, considering the, the conditions and um, the wind, as you say, and the rain, and it, it, the pitch was quite heavy. I mean, it's probably the heaviest I've seen this pitch for a time, but you know, it's played really well, and it made a good. I thought it was a good game, to be fair. They've, they've come and had a go. We've had a go. We've had a couple of chances. They've had a couple of chances. To be fair, it's probably quite strange how it's ended up nil-nil. But there you go. That's football, and, you know. And we've probably had more chances today in terms of some of the first 15, 20 minutes than we've had in some of the other games last week, even, and scored three goals. So you have to look at it and say it is a point gained. Um, and another point to where we need to get to for the end of the season. We played down the slope in the first half, Oxford therefore obviously going up it. Although we got the advantage of a slope, we're playing into the wind. And it seems, hang on, we're playing into it? Yes, we were. Uh, was that easier to think rather than having it to your backs? I think so. I think we've a couple of times this year played better going into the wind. Um, we tend to, to get the ball down quicker. I felt second half, I felt we went out with the with the decision that the wind's behind our backs and I just felt we rushed some stuff we did early in the second half. We, we got the ball into areas too quickly, we were looking to force it and I think because we had the wind at our backs I think some, some players just really took their their, their mind off the, of, of what we had to do and I said to them at half time it was about being brave on the ball again. It was it was keeping the ball in, in, in areas where we could play our little triangles and keep the ball and try and get in behind them from from that side of it where I felt we tried to force it too much in the second half and as I say some balls just run out of, uh, there you go David, some balls just run out of um, areas in, because we forced it, if we hadn't forced it we would have, we, we probably might have been a little bit better in terms of the way we passed and played um, because I did think that the, the, the wind took some of the players decisions in the second half to just go along a little bit too much too quickly. I was very surprised that neither side, when they had a win to our backs, were prepared to try shots from outside the box. Do you think we both missed a trick there? Um, I think they had a couple in the first half, and I think David Longking made a real good block on one and David Noble on the other. So they've had a couple of shots, but I felt the second half they defended really well on the edge of their 18-yard box. We got in two or three times in some really good areas, but never really caused them any problems. And I think the only problem they really got into was, was the set pieces with the corners or the or a free kick where the winds took it and uh, it worked in both ends that the ball wasn't travelling cleanly because of the wind and, and the rain and uh, both goalkeepers I think decided to punch more today than, than they did in terms of, of collecting and they probably put themselves under a little bit more pressure than they needed to. Talk about them defending well, that's three clean sheets now for yourselves so you must be delighted with that. Yeah really pleased, obviously we went with the partnership of, of David Longking and Tom Bender so that's, that's a bonus. Um, Obviously, Lewis has come in at left back as well. has been has been excellent, and and Jamie's done a defensive side of it on the right hand side. So, also David De Gea. I think we've got to be careful with Solomon's coming both in the midfield area with David Noble, and we've got a, a nice little threesome in there at the moment in terms of you know the way they're attacking, the way they're getting on the ball, and the way they're defending. And, and certainly David De Gea has defended gallantly again today, and and I think that's helped the back four that they've got somebody sitting in there and protecting them. And, um, and taking a little bit of pressure off them from that side of it. I mean, if you look at it, Dean hasn't really had a lot to do today. He's had to stand up once in the second half and make a good save. But he hasn't really had a lot to do. Sam was at Bath last week. So positives from that side. Point, they would have loved three points at the end of the day. I suppose a point is, is a positive because we need to get to, to into the 40s as quickly as we can. Um, so we've got to take the positives. But as I've said all along, you know, let's not take away anything from Oxford because I think they've got a decent side there. And... Uh, they move the ball really well and uh, you know they create some good chances today where we've had to defend at times gallantly in terms of trying to keep them out. Just spoke to David Noble just before and he said it's a very happy change in room at the moment but he feels that potentially he might have turned a corner at the moment. I hope so, I mean it's difficult because as I say it's, it, it's all about results really, it is a result based business and if results are going for you it obviously breeds happiness. Um, as I've said to the players there, that's three games unbeaten, that's three clean sheets. Um, so they're all positives. We've still got to make sure that we, we try and get as many points as we can, as quickly as we can. But you know, training, there's a smile on their face. Playing, there's a smile on their face. And the most important thing is that we just keep doing that and taking each game, each game as it comes. Um, and then try and pick up as many points as we can in those, those remaining 11 games. <coughs>
As you say, we picked up a point today, Ian. Uh, Chippenham Town beat nine man Maystone United, so they've gone back above us. Tunbridge just a couple of points behind, they've got <coughs> what, four games in hand, so the games we've got coming up against Chippenham and Tunbridge, they are crucial. Yeah, as I've said all along, you know, I, as I said to you last week, David, I can't, I can't influence what Chippenham do in terms of, of their game today. I mean, obviously losing two men, um, Maidstone's a, a blow to Maidstone, and obviously from where we are, it's a blow to us. But I can't, I can't influence that. So all I can do is try and worry about ourselves. You know, we've got a tough game next week at Haven't, um, where you know they they're looking to obviously try and win the win the league, and so that's going to be tough. And then we go to Chippenham. So as I said, we've got two tough away games, and then we've got Dartford here. So it doesn't come any easier than what we've got in the next three games. But you know, at the time that the players have done extremely well, they're working extremely hard. Um, Training was really good this week after the victory on Tuesday and we've taken it into today's game. It's just a shame we didn't get in front early on because it might have been a different game if somebody had scored early today and it might have opened the game up a little bit more than what it actually did in the end. No Scott Shelton today. Uh, any update on James Kolochi and Manash Sundar? Well, Manash and, and uh, James have both got um, hamstrings. Um, Manash is looking a little bit further forward on that than, than, than James is at the moment and Scott has just opened his knee up again a little bit on Tuesday night. He felt it last week, that's why we left him out. He played Tuesday and just felt it again today. So there's not a lot we can do with that side. We've just got to just try and obviously rest them and get some treatment and hopefully they'll improve as, as the week goes on. Manash hopefully will start training to the level we need him to this week and hopefully be ready to be included next Saturday at Haven. We're talking to Maystone going down to nine. Of course, Oxford went down to ten today in added time. Uh, Guy sent off for a second yellow, and some people thought a keeper had got a yellow. He could have got a straight red. Any opinion on those? Well, all I can say is what I see, and from the sideline, I felt there was a little bit of a melee going on, and it looks like that you know something's happened in there. Um, obviously, Tom Bender spoke in the change room and said that that he was he was kicked in the chest. Um, obviously, the referee's nearer to where I was, um, and made a decision to give the goalkeeper a yellow. Um, and then the second one was just really handbags and both and really they're both at fault really for being involved. They shouldn't have got involved. They just got away from each other and they're both as bad as one another. I mean, David's obviously got a yellow card and their guy's got a second yellow card. So silly, silly for doing what they're doing. They should be grown up a little bit more than that and uh, take responsibility on the pitch. And you know, it's just handbags and they've both just literally, you know, got involved, which was crazy. Um, and they don't have to really with that time to go, just just forget about it, get on with it, get your shape and just get on with it. But unfortunately their lad's already on a yellow card and he's reacted or David's reacted. I don't know what, quite quite what's, what's happened. Obviously you'll, you'll send the highlights down and we'll have a look at it from that side a bit. But from where I was it was just, just handbags and crazy that they both ended up getting yellow cards and the second yellow card for their guy ended up in a red card. Quick word on Sam Wilson, we saw him score an absolutely fantastic volley on Tuesday night and tonight he tried, when he came off the bench, an overhead kick. Wonderful effort again, but unfortunately he got blocked. Great yeah, exactly. I mean, at the end of the day, he struck it really well. But we know Sam can do that, as I say. It was just one of them games today. It would have been nice to have brought him on a little bit earlier. Because he can change games for us, but with the midfield the way it was and, and the wind and the rain and the conditions, it was very, very difficult for us to to take that additional man out of midfield because their three midfield players today I thought were excellent. The three of them, they control the ball with, with quality, they keep the ball with quality uh, and if we'd have just taken that extra man out of midfield earlier then that might just cause us one or two problems so we had to try and be brave in terms of keeping the bodies in there. Um, I just felt we got some really good areas, especially in the wide areas in the first half and, and our lack of crossing or our, our lack of the final ball in them areas is the reason why I don't think we've gone on and won the game today. Right, we look forward now to next Saturday, away to Haven's and Waterlooville. Not many people give us a chance, but when you look at it really, their home form's not great, their away form is fantastic, and we've got a little bit of a run going. Yeah, all we can do is just go there and, uh, and give it our best shot. As I said, at the end of the day, a lot of people don't give us a chance, but you know, we've said before, we just can go, just go and keep doing what we've got to do. We can only worry about ourselves now. You know, we've got a settled side and settled squad, which we've got to try and keep together. Um, certainly the two boys from Watford have given us a, a different side to our game um, in terms of the attacking side of it and Lewis has come in and I say he's been part of, of the defensive side of it with three, three clean sheets so the squad's decent, the shape of the squad's decent, we've got, we've got players in every position we can, we can you know, chop and change if we have to but you know, I felt today with the performance last week I didn't want to change it but we've got bodies that can come off the bench and change things around and uh, you know, they're the things that we have to look at going into, into next week's game.
Lovely, thanks so much. Let's hope we get a slightly drier weekend next Saturday. That's down at Wesley Park, home of Haventon Waterlooville National League South. Kickoff is at 3 pm.